Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev are set to meet in Brussels Sunday with European Council President Charles Michel, the Financial Times reported today, citing three unnamed officials familiar with the matter. One of the sources said the upcoming talks represent an important sign of progress, adding that facilitation efforts by the European Union and United States are mutually reinforcing and complementary two-track processes. Last week, the foreign ministers of Armenia and Azerbaijan held marathon negotiations in Washington that were welcomed by Secretary of State Anthony Blinken as intensive and constructive meetings that achieved significant process on a peace deal. In contrast, Pashinyan had sought to temper expectations, stressing that a wide gulf remains between Armenia and Azerbaijan's positions on key issues, particularly around Nagorno-Karabakh. While the difference between the sides was one kilometer before, now it is 990 meters, Pashinyan told Radio Azadutun. Radio Liberty's Armenian service. Sources told the Financial Times that the Brussels meeting will likely focus on Azerbaijan's move last month to install a checkpoint along the sole overland route connecting Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh. Azerbaijan's blockade of Nagorno-Karabakh's more than 100,000 Armenians is now approaching its 150th day. According to the Financial Times, Pashinyan and Aliyev are set to hold another meeting in Moldova on June 1st with Michel and French President Emmanuel Macron. Also today, the Armenian PM's office confirmed that Pashinyan will attend Victory Day events tomorrow in Moscow. Earlier, Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov told reporters that specific plans are being made for Pashinyan to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow this week. And Armenia continues to see a surge in tourist arrivals, with the country's state-run statistical committee reporting an 81% increase in visitors in the first three months of this year, compared to the same period last year. In the first quarter of this year, around 450,000 tourists visited Armenia, compared to around 250,000 in the same period of 2022. According to the committee, just under 240,000 Russian citizens made up the largest chunk of the new tourist numbers. The committee also noted increases in the number of arrivals from Georgia and Turkey. And as the countdown to the Turkish general elections continues, you can check out Sivonet's latest segment with Aras editor-in-chief Robert Koptash as we look to break down this historic vote. In our latest interview with Koptash, we look at Turkey's main opposition candidate, Kemal Kilish Darohlu, his history and his ability to put together a broad opposition coalition. And finally, in this week's edition of Civilnet's Business Digest, we look at lengthy delays at the border crossing between Georgia and Russia, money transfers to Armenian banks by individuals outside the country nearly tripling year on year in the first quarter, and the $760 million tax inflow into Armenia state coffers in April, marking a new record for the country's highest tax collection rate in a single month. <laughs> 